The Weekly, hosted by the editors of Pro Builder and Pro Remodeler, starts now. One of the biggest frustrations to come out of 2020 for me personally was the cancellation of the in-person portion of literally every single uh, major remodeling trade show. And it's, it's, a, it's a frustration that we've just recently learned that is going to continue into 2021 with the announcement that uh, IBS will be an all virtual event as well. Now, it's not that there aren't alternatives now that these um, events are going virtual. There's a lot of great things to say about the virtual environment, about what you can do. Um, it's easy to convey information. It's, it's a great place for networking um, with peers and partners. But at the same time, um, going to those events, that, that was one of the, the real joys of my job. It's the best way for me to learn about new technologies, new innovations and products, and services and systems. But to the credit of the manufacturers, they've done their very best to make it easy and accessible for people in the industry like myself to get a hold of not only new and interesting products, but also to rediscover um, old products that maybe weren't on our radar uh, previously for whatever reason, which is another great thing that, that used to come out of trade shows. So with that being said, I wanted to count down in sort of rapid fire style some of the most intriguing products that have come to my attention this year. First product I want to talk about is the Bio Series from Castle Grande Panada. Uh, I wasn't able to speak with representative from the company. They are based in Italy, so the time difference made it a little bit uh, difficult. But luckily, I was able to have an email exchange with one of the representatives from the company, Aldo Magnani, and he answered some questions uh, about the, the series that I, I think would interest everyone. The Bio Series has two products, um, a self-cleaning platen and an antibacterial uh, tile. Full disclosure, this series has been out since 2006. However, it's one of those products that just hasn't been on my radar, um, most likely because it has been mostly based in Italy, though the product is available in the United States. Now, Bio Self-Cleaning is a cladding that uses Hydrotech technology. And what Hydrotech does is it harnesses the power of the chemical composition called titanium dioxide, which is maybe a, a, a phrase you want to keep in your head because I think you're going to be seeing a lot more products uh, in the future. That, that chemical composition allows the cladding, the cladding to break down pollutants and dirt particles. It also helps the cladding uh, be more hydrophilic, which is a basically a fancy way of saying that water doesn't like to cling to that surface. And so with the combination of, of breaking down those balloons and also having water wash away with something as a quick rain, you're going to get a full clean of that cladding. Uh, there's a secondary feature that it is also cleans the air, but not so much that you really want to depend on that for any sort of air, air scrubbing. The antibacterial side of BIOS is more of an indoor product. It's a, it's a coating using that same hydrotech technology that's applied to porcelain stoneware. Not only will it combat pollutants and dirt deposits and will be easy to clean, but it is also 99.9% um, resistant to the four most common harmful bacteria. Now, that's not to say that if you put this tile in your house that you can't get uh, coronavirus, for instance, please do not take it that way. But it is something that will help you um, keep a cleaner house without having to clean as much. Next up, we have the Spectra Plus Touch four function shower head from American Standard. Now, this shower head has a lot of basic features. As you can see, the configuration is set up um, for uh, four different types of spray patterns. Uh, it's also easy to clean. It's water sense certified, which is to say that it's high performance and high efficiency, even at a lower flow rate. Two of the more impressive things uh, about this shower head that really caught my eye is one, it's touch sense. So let's say that you want to uh, change one of the spray patterns. Instead of finding whatever flip, switch, turn, twisty knob um, that a more standard shower head would have, all you have to do for the Spectra Plus is to just touch the side and the spray pattern will change. A second feature I really like about this shower head is this little doohickey, which is just another way for you to change the spray pattern. What I like about it is that it can be wall mounted and it can be wall mounted with screws or you can uh, fasten it to the wall using this adhesive pad. I particularly like this because of the implications it has for one universal design. Um, if you know an older person is in their shower, they prefer to use the bench, they don't want to stand up to change the spray pattern, they can just touch this wall-mounted button 
and then they have uh, the convenience of, of, of staying, of staying seated. Um, for myself, I recently came out of uh, off a bout of, of coronavirus, and maybe this is a little bit too personal, but when I'm sick and I'm not feeling well, I like to lay down in the shower. And if I wanted to change this gray pattern while laying down in the shower, this would sort of be the perfect option for a person like me. So that's one of the reasons I really like this product. Next up, we have something that is by far the heaviest thing a manufacturer has ever sent to me, which is Decorator's new line that they were intending to present at the Deck Expo, and which they will still present, um, albeit virtually. But I wanted to get it, take a chance to go through some of these products with you um, so that in case that you're not able to meet that Deck Expo, or maybe you're, you're so busy during it, you don't have a chance to go over to the decorators because I wanted to show you some of the new products they have uh, coming out this year. Some quick updates from decorators. Their Vista line has two new colors, Silverwood and Junewood. Decorators Voyage series has expanded to include a nine quarter inch varied plank width. And the biggest takeaway from decorators uh, new products is its trail headline. It's Decorator's first entry-level composite decking material uh, available. It comes in three colors. Uh, we have Ridgeline, Canyon, and Pathway. And what's really nice about this decking product is that while if you know anything about decking, per linear foot for a standard uh, piece of composite material, you're probably going to be paying around three to four dollars, and on the high end, you're going to be paying five to six. Decorators anticipates the retail linear uh, price per linear foot um, for their for their Trailhead series is going to be two dollars. On top of that, they're going to include their 25 year removal and replacement warranty, which would also increase the cost of labor um, for removing and installing a new product um, in the unfortunate event that you would need to have to replace. For our final product, DAP's Rapid Wall Repair Patch, uh, I wanted to give you a demonstration because that's just kind of how easy this product is to use. Now, as the name suggests, this is a way to patch drywall. Uh, I don't have any loose sheets of drywall around the condo, uh, unfortunately. So for our purposes, I'm going to use this piece of cardboard, which I think will suffice. Now the patches come in lengths all the way up to six inches, uh, but for our purposes, I'm using a two inch patch. Now the first step is not to do anything with the patch at all, but to rather sand and clean up your hole. So you have a small hole here, you take a little bit of sandpaper, sound it down to make sure there are no bumps or protrusions. You'll also want to tuck in any, any pieces um, of, of drywall that you have sticking out so that it won't compromise the patch's ability to remain flush as you apply it and then later apply paint. So once you have your hole cleaned up, totally ready, you take out your patches. And while, as you can see, there's two ways to peel this patch. You have one peel right here, which is very enticing because it's nice and blue. And then you have another way. You start the second way, which is to take off the patch as a whole. And that packaging makes this very easy because it provides a little slit in the paper. Once you have the hole, you very carefully, or rather meticulously, Place it over the hole. And you want to make sure it is flush as possible. Once you have the patch on, you put on your first layer of paint. For our purposes here, we have a nice toasted almond. Give it a shake. Now you just do a really thin, easy coat on the first, on the first go. And that's really just to kind of clean up the edges. As you can see, even after you lay over lay on the first layer of paint, there is a thin pull. That flap remains so that after that paint dries, you can pull it so it's completely flush against the wall, repaint it, and then you have a clean wall uh, after that. So we'll let this dry for a little bit.
So it turns out watching paint dry is literally as boring as they say. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove it now. That first layer of paint has helped hide the con some of the contours of the, of the tape. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna paint over with our final coat. And of course, on a real wall, you're gonna be able, wanna be a little bit more delicate and a little bit more patient. Um, but on cardboard, I think we can, uh, we can afford a, a, a rushed job. And as that paint dries, the wall will be sealed. Now, as I mentioned earlier, those patches do come in a variety of sizes. Um, we have everything from two, four to six inch pat, uh, patches. I did have some questions after using the product uh, for the manufacturer. One was how long was it gonna take before the wall was ready for everyday contact? Um, they gave me um, what your paint manufacturer will generally tell you, which is that it takes four weeks for paint to adequately adhere to a wall. Uh, of course, that's very cautious um, if you've ever painted a wall, um, but still that's, that's what the manufacturer recommends. Also, Dab was adamant in making sure that everyone knows that these patches are a replacement for things like mud and spackle. So it's not necessary in the repair to include them. It is just use the patch, paint over it, peel your patch um, sticker, and then lay a final coat. And one of the questions I had was, could you use these patches to repair other kind of damages or, or put them on other kind of substrates other than drywall? And the answer was unequivocally no. These patches were made for small holes in drywall. Um, and, and that's really what their effective use is. With that, I'd like to thank all the manufacturers who were mentioned in today's video, as well as the other manufacturers who continue to send us product updates um, and product releases. We do appreciate it. We look at every single one. And while we can't always mention uh, everyone, we do our best to mention the ones that really deserve some spotlight. Mm -hmm.